Alrighty, something a little bit different today is uh, maintenance with your tip. So I'll go through sort of what I do, and remember this is just what I do, um, right or wrong, it's how I like doing things, and um, yeah, I'd be keen to, to hear uh, how you guys, the girls, go about uh, maintaining your tips and what you guys do, and um, again, if there's any videos that you wanna see in the future, or like me to do, just put them in the comments, and uh, over time, I'll do them for you. So here we go. So start off with my my case, basically. Uh, I got this from England when I first went up there, probably 2006. I paid like, I can't remember what I paid, maybe 100, 150 pounds or something like that. It was actually quite quite expensive, I think. But uh, I just picked up a brand new set of uh, Aramith balls. Yes, the ring, the ring of knowledge. Look at that. Thanks, Dakota. So again, the way I do things, I've got a towel, like most people, and I actually uh, I took this from a hotel. <laughs> um, I just wet this a little bit, and then wet the cue, and then use either this or that to dry the cue and get all the, the green, I don't know, dirt or whatever that builds up on the queue. Makes it nice and smooth again. And again, one piece case. I've got my nine ball queue. Got my chalk. So nine ball queue I use for braking. And this is my playing queue. It's the old Dufferin. One piece. With a uh, an LP tip, so in also in the in here, I just have some notes. That's for snooker, just some drills that Neil uh, Neil gave me, um, and then I have obviously some notes in here that. Uh, I also use that um, can help. So anything can help in a match or on a day. Um, these are actually uh, something also, it's sort of like the ring that we use, the, the, the circle, but it's basically uh, mapping the out from start to finish using you know, the first ball, second ball, third ball, fourth, fifth, and so forth, and trying to land on those, those exact dots uh, or those exact squares to try and help your mapping and all that stuff. Um, yeah, a little, that's uh, it's a little bit about that. Because I'm out of out of room, I have a little little sack for the Q case, and that's got that's got all my little goodies in it. So it's just a glasses case thing. You put your glasses in, and I've just got a few things in there. I'll show you what's in there. So here we go. Little bag of goodies. I have a lighter. Show you what that's for shortly. I also have a little filer, just in case I need to reshape the tip or something like that. And next is something very important I picked up from England as well many years ago is this. You can shape your tip at either end. And also, more importantly, give it a bit of a bit of a spike. So there it is there, bit of a spike. I'll show you what I do with that. And what else have I got now? This I got off the, I think I got this off, uh, again, Jono, that did my tip. Um, it's, look, some people might cringe when I, when I show you what I do with this, but um, if I see a bit of mushrooming, I can actually put the tip inside here and just get rid of the, uh, the slight mushroom on the tip. And uh, yeah, and then continue from there. I hate seeing bits and pieces come off the edge of the tip. It's, uh, it drives me nuts, so. And remember, it's it's 
this is my way. So, and last but not least, I have this, uh, I can't remember the uh, the old guy that gave me this, just, just gave me a uh, poker um, chip from Las Vegas. It's not really worth anything, it's just a, it's just a chip. Uh, put a little X there. There's nothing on that side, so if I don't have a coin, I can flip it and uh, we can start our match that way. I just keep it with me. And there you have it. There's those five items that I have in that little, little case. So I'll show you sort of what I do with it. So first of all, if I see that my tip is starting to, and this is an LP tip, by the way, I used to use I used to use Elk Master and Blue Diamond, and then I got put onto these by Jono, and uh, I'm not looking, I won't look back now. Um, it just plays, plays a bit firmer. I don't like tips too hard, I don't like tips too soft, but um, this, this feels to me a lot better in a way, so uh, I'm happy, I'm sticking, I'm gonna stick with it. So you can see how there's a little bit of fluff there. And let's just say it started to mushroom a little bit after a while. I would then get this and then just slide that in there. And then slowly, slowly turn it in there like that. And then just take a small little layer off. A small little layer off the tip. Yes, yeah, sometimes I graze the ferrule, but you know what? I'm not too fussed about that. So other people are, and uh, but I'm not. So some people like all this perfect, whatever. I'm not too fussed. I'm all good. So that's that. And then once it's down, you might get a bit of fluff around the edges like that. And then what I do to get rid of the fluff, I use this and then just slightly go around like that and just burns all the fluff off and then you have no fluff. So I, I can't stand, I can't stand seeing bits and pieces of stuff come up. It drives me nuts. Also you see here when the tip gets quite shiny, you can actually miscue all the front of it here can, um, can get quite shiny. So you can, Try and see there that I've put a lot of little holes and it just makes the chalk stick a lot easier just by giving it a bit of a hit like that. That's all that does, just roughens it up a little bit. Less chance of miscuing. Once you finish doing that, then you can go back around and just get rid of all the Fluff. And you're ready to go. One last thing you can do as well, once you've finished all that, if you do want to make your, the uh, ferrule a little bit more shinier, you can get a piece of paper and then just sort of go around and just do that. And it will, it will make your ferrule a little bit shinier. The more and more you do it. You can use a, a five, ten dollar note, just any bit of money too. Uh, I know I've seen Ben Noonan do it just about my whole life. Just he likes a really shiny ferrule, likes keeping everything clean, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, you can use a piece of paper or uh, just a, a note if you've got one and then it just basically makes the, uh, the ferrule a little bit shinier. Can't really see it on here, there it is. And that's it. And that's all I do. Those, those couple of little things I keep on me all, all times. Um, and that's how I keep my uh, tip um, working for me. So remember, yes, it might not be perfect. Yes, there's plenty of other ways. I've heard a, I've heard a lot of other ways, but this is uh, just a little insight of how I do things. If you do see me using a lighter or something, you'll know why. And um, as always, if you like what you see, uh, yeah, Subscribe, like, share, do whatever you like. 
Um, it all helps me out, helps the channel out. And um, yeah, like I said, if you've got any questions, send them through and uh, I'll answer them and also give me some more ideas and some videos that you'd like to see in the future. Until next time.